Welcome to my channel. This is Dawn with Pink Chair Gaming and this is the island of Rosewood. I have been working on this island for a really long time. I actually started it before hard mode um, and have just kind of worked on it a little bit off and on here and there and it is finally time to reveal it just in time to start a new challenge um, which will be coming up sometime in the next week. But for now, let's take a look at Rosewood. We're going to start by looking at the map. All right, here we go. Here's the map. The DA is at the bottom. And here's the residence that I ended up with. I have Curly, Flora, Sally, Norma, Mitzi, Chrissy, Vladimir, Chelsea, Diana, and Cookie. And I'm really excited with how this island turned out. Um, I've worked frantically to try and finish it in the last week. But without further ado, let's start looking at my island. So here is my entrance. Um, this island is kind of a castle core slash cottage core island. Um, this part of it right here is definitely more castle core looking. Um, this direction leads more towards my shopping district, but we're actually going to go this direction to start with um, and head kind of towards the beach. Um, my beaches are not decorated. This little area right here is the only thing decorated on the beach, so don't get your hopes up. Um, but first, we're actually going to take a look at my house. I love how this turned out. Um, I put a little mini garden in here, and I love this stone path. This is one of my favorite paths that I've used. I wouldn't necessarily use it on an entire island, but I love how it turned out going towards my house, and I'm just really happy with this area. Over here to the left, I've got a little washing area on my peninsula. Um, and I'm not one for normally decorating my peninsula very fancy. Um, and I'm really happy with how this little area turned out. Alright, so we're going to work our way um, backwards um, towards this direction. And this is where my museum is at. And I love how this little area turned out. Um with the little centerpiece in front of it and the little bistro table um, over to the right area. So yeah, I like how this turned out. And then I have a cute little seating area over here. And I have never been one for creating these type of um, little seating areas. And I was really happy with how this one turned out. As I say, I haven't had a lot of experience with it, um, but really pleased with that one. All right, and heading back this way, um, I have my campsite, and I can tell you that Philbert is in here, and though he will not be invited to this island, I have a feeling he's probably going to end up on another island, um, as I do have his amiibo. But I love how this turned out. Um, let me kind of show you this little area. Really cute. Um, very happy um, with the terraforming and just a little bit of decorating I did here. All right, so now we're going to head back this direction. And from the museum, we're going to head over towards resident services. And there's not a whole lot that's actually decorated, um, other than the fact that I put some cliffs behind it and just tried to do a little bit of natural landscaping. All right, and then going from resident services back towards my entrance, um, I have another little very small seating area um, over to the left, and then this heads directly back to my entrance. And then from here, um, right behind my entrance is this cute little garden area that I created. Um, I love how this turned out. I, I love little garden areas. I think they help take up space um, when you're not sure what to do with something. Um, but this one's really cute. Um, I tried to make it as structured as possible and really happy with how it turned out. All right, from here, we're going to go over to the right. Um, this is kind of the beginning of my shopping district, but it's also kind of part of what I'd call my housing district. Um, but I love how these little houses turned out. I am like in love with fake buildings. These two right here are two of my absolute favorites and I love how they turned out. And then down this way, as I say, it's kind of shopping district-ish. Um, this goes back over towards my entrance because I've got the little stalls. 
um, and the cute little seating area and just different decorations that are as I say kind of shopping district um, but not quite and from there we're gonna head backwards towards my first little village neighborhood um, and here are two of the houses on the lower level I love how these turned out very simple and plain but very very cute and then going up this way is my first neighborhood um, which I did do a speed build on and feel free to check it out love my little dancing gyroid All right, we're gonna go around this way through the neighborhood. Um, I'm very happy with my little seating area in the middle. Um, just another little centerpiece, but a little bit different than the one that's in front of the museum. And then I've got a house over here with a little bit of plant decoration. And then going back this way, um, you're not really supposed to go behind here, but if you decided that you wanted to, you can sneak back in here um, and take a look at the terraforming back up in here. All right, we're going to continue back around this way. And then back over here, kind of hidden behind, is a staircase that leads to my castle and this is one of my favorite parts of this island this was what I had in mind when I created the island um, and this is my castle design love how it turned out and I do have a speed build for this I'll put a link up at the top if you're interested in going and watching it Okay, from here, we're going to head back up the stairs and go back through my little neighborhood here. And up here to the right, I have a diagonal bridge. And I love how this view turned out. Um, I will show you where that goes to in a minute, but this is just a really cool view. It's not easily accessible, so I'll have to show you how to get to it if you do want to go that way. But I like how it turned out. Alright, so from the diagonal bridge, we're going to go into my cute little orchard area. Um, this is another build I've never tried to do before. And I just tried to look at lots of different inspiration and get some feel for what to do. And I love how this turned out. I have never actually used um, the umbrellas before as decoration like this. Love it very happy with it and then I've got a cute little barn area back here and then if you're interested in seeing um, that terraforming there is a vine right here that will take you down um, and this is where that goes to and I do like how this turned out lots of terraforming um, I think you could get up there if you wanted to roam around and look, um, but I tried to leave most of the decoration to the front part of it with a view from right here. But this little area, if you hop across, you can take this little path, which does lead back to my secret beach. Um, I don't have it decorated, but at least it makes it easy to get to Red when he was here. All right, we're gonna go ahead and head back up this way. And over here on the right is my little farm area. And this is my favorite type of farm. I know that you've probably seen this before if you've watched any of my other videos, um, but that's okay. This is my favorite way of doing a farm. You can see I did do the farm building a little bit different this time. Um, I did use the, um, the medieval walls instead of the storefronts to do my, my little farmhouse. Um, but I like how this turned out. Alright, so we are going to go from here around to the front. And this is my second neighborhood area with my final houses. Um, here are two of them here. 
Um, they're just kind of just, you know, very simply um, decorated. Lots of flowers, little picnic type items. And then up here are my last two houses. Um, kind of the same, but a little different. But I like how they turned out. All right, and then from here, we're going to go down into my shopping district. And this is my true shopping district. Um, over here to the right, I have my little bakery that I created. And I love this. This is also the first time I've ever used the hats um, to do the cakes. And I love how they turned out in my bakery, um, along with some of the actual food items. And then there's a couple little bistro tables to sit at. Um, and then up here is Nook's Cranny. Um, it's, you know, nothing spectacular, but kind of simple, but I really like how it turned out. Um, I love this code back here with the breeze blocks with the little flowers on them. I just thought that turned out really cute. And then going back over this way um, is my canal. And I love this little, um, little view right here. I just love how this turned out for the end of the canal. Here we go. And then from here, if you were to go back this way, you'll see we're back into the little housing district. Um, but before we do that, we're gonna go back up front a little bit. I'm gonna head back around this way. And in front of the bakery, I have a little bookstore that I created. And I love how this turned out. This is another one of my um, favorite ways to make fake buildings. So I thought that turned out really cute. Um, and I just have a very simple little seating area right here. And then I have my Able Sisters. This is probably my favorite way to do Able Sisters. Um, I did do a speed build on this. I'll include a link up at the right for that. And I hope you'll go check that out. All right, and from here, that leads us back around to my little canal area, um, which I love how this turned out. It's very simple, but I love canals, and I like how that turned out. And this heads back towards what I call my housing district slash shopping district and back towards my entrance. And that's it for this island. It's There's not a lot to it. Um, a lot of it is terraforming on higher levels that you don't necessarily get to. But I'm very happy with how my island turned out. And I hope that you'll come visit it, take a little bit more uh, look at it in detail. And I really hope that you enjoy your visit. I do have a new challenge that's coming up that Nintendalk is doing that I will be starting in the very near future. And I hope you will enjoy it as much as I do. But for now, please be sure to like and subscribe. And I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye!